pop out way or no way. Hey, look, this is TTE cartel federal stores. No prison stores, federal. One low, oh, all way, by the way, 702 Look me up. Oh, God, yeah, federal store. Hey, what's up? This TT now, TT 90. You know, I'm kind of, you know, like we do in the feds, you know, we get toxicated. So, this Christmas 2014, I'm on USP Hazleton. Uh, right on my ball. So, I'm on USP Hazleton. So, when I'm on, like, we be locked down so much, bro. They do the red side, then they do the blue side. I was on the blue side. I was on E2. So, when me and Jizzle was selling, when I was at Beaumont, he, like, I give him my chicken and he give me the fish. Now, like, that's catfish. <laughs> like, that's fried fish with the batter and everything on game. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, we'll get that. So, boom, you get a big old Chris. Like, okay, they lock you in. They lock you in on Christmas, Thanksgiving and Christmas. But Christmas, you get your uh, Christmas sack. It's a lot with the uh, jalapeno cheeses. You got all the exclusive snacks. They bring you from the free world. So when um they got we get our stuff and everything. So when we finna go to Chow. So we finna go to Chow. So my boy N.O. Black, he come through. His name's Slugger at the Ninth Ward. You know what I'm saying? Got 28. Yeah. Anybody know Slugger at that Ninth Ward, man? Hit us up, man. I love, bro. Like, bro, official. Like, I ain't gonna lie. When BG came on the yard, he knew. He knew him. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So he was like. Bitch, bitch, I give you my chicken. No, he say I give I give you uh my fish for the chicken. So I was like, he, he say my Cornish hen though. You know I'm an East Side nigga. I don't know what no Cornish hen mean. What does a Cornish hen, bro? I don't, I don't even know what that mean. I'm sorry, I didn't know what that mean. So boom. So he say he give me the Cornish hen. Boom, I like yeah. So when I'm doing that, I'm finna lock on. <laughs> Brady, yeah, was like. Nah, nigga pulled me, got my he put his hand around my nigga like you gonna give anybody that chicken to go be me for the fish. I like what is a Cornish hen, bro? He's like they, he showed me. He said they're gonna give you a thing about this big. They're gonna give it to you right there. He say and you come back and you just pay five stamps. They gonna fry it for you, nigga. That's number but white meat. <laughs> so I'll say. So I'm telling. I was like, ah, I say slugger, you gonna do me like that, bro? So boom, we go in there. They give you a brown sack. Nigga, they got the, you know, the Christmas tree uh, uh, cupcakes. They got every cupcake it is in a brown sack. Boom. You get your goodies. You get your, they got the uh, pecan pie. They got the, they got everything. So, boom, when I'm getting <laughs> my other tray, I see that big Cornish hen. So, when I see the big Cornish hen, I really feel played. Like, damn, bro, you really going to try to get out on me like that? So, when I see the Cornish hen, man, say, let me tell you something. When they say street to street. A person buying that street money, like, he finna go call his girl on the phone, he finna send you $120. So I'm hearing these people buying it for 200 150 175 Let me tell you how much of a nigga I am, bro. A nigga offered me 140 for it. I'm broken up. I looked at that Cornish hand. I looked at him. I looked at that Cornish hand. I looked at him. I like, nah, I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. Yet looked at me. He say, bitch, I got six soups and some more shit for you. He say, you did right, bro. You a real east side nigga. I say, listen, let me tell you, homie. I'm finna put some season on there. So, <laughs> he say, I'm finna put some, I'm finna, and make me a little rice with that Goya pack. When you, when you, when you, when you, you know, the Goya pack is that brand, that, I mean, that orange pack. So it, it color your rice. So you, 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 you put the summer sauce, it's boom. We got oyster clams. We got all that in the pack. You know what I'm saying? So what you do with your spoon, you cut that. This is a fried rice. This is our fried rice. We got the grease. Okay, you got a you got a a, a trash can, but it's like real aluminum trash can. So you put the grease in there. We got a stinger. You know what I'm saying? You you cook the uh you you hit the rice up. You know what I'm saying? First you boil it. You put it in the microwave about like seven eight minutes. Boom. Then you fry it. You put that Goya pack in there. You already chopped up the turkey log and the uh, summer sauce. You put that in there. Boom, that's frying. And that boy, man, listen, when you come in a yard, 
And you go into the day room, it smell like the free world, homie. When I tell you, listen, when I got to USP Atlanta, homie, I got my mat walking in bit dog three. If a person been in the feds, you been to Atlanta, you know what dog three is. So I'm walking, I'm going up the stairs. He didn't take me on the elevator. I'm going up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs, boom, to three. Say, when I walked in there, you got niggas smoking a big ass. You know what? I didn't know what Bugler was. See, <laughs> I didn't know what Bugler was, bro. I ain't know what no Bugler was. Man smoking a Bugler cigarette, right? On the phone. So I'm looking at the CEO. He ain't said nothing. He ain't said nothing, so I know it's going down. So they got, they drinking some rock on there every day. And what they do is they put the bottle in a plastic bag and they break it all into pieces and they flush it down the toilet. Smart. You know what I'm saying? Big phones in there. So I'm like, man, no one of these niggas like going to jail. They doing better than they was in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Shit. These niggas doing better than the streets, nigga. I'm talking about nigga $30,000 on their books, nigga. They doing, they doing lovely. So I got them. So to end it with this is like, when I got there, it was one morning. I didn't know this. I didn't know the CEO was Muslim though. He was dark with a big beard. So, uh, they was talking about Martin Luther King. So when I'm hearing the old head talk about him, I like he crazy. So I was like, I ain't gonna lie. I felt where Martin Luther King was coming from, but I don't agree with everything he had going on because I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie to you. He told us not to fight. He told us to kneel. He told my he didn't style hard in my people. He stalled fear in my people. And the white folks, them kind of white folks, they took advantage of that. And when they took advantage of that, they went deep in that. You told my people to be scared. You told my people that your life not worth nothing. You had some good, what you did, what about the bad? See, you got to think that what he got, you got to practice what you preach. Everything he was preaching, but you telling them when I, I walked out, I walked out. When in Black History Month, that's when I knew race wasn't nothing, bro. I walked out when that white man went in there and did like this. And that little girl was right next to her mama and she was like this. And just screaming. And I wasn't no, I, I didn't know nothing about no religion then. Malcolm X came, he had style hearts. He said, you touch one of mine, we touch four of yours. You touch four of us, we touch ten of y'all. He went overseas. He came back. Elijah Muhammad knew something wasn't right. They put a hit, had to put a hit on. You know why? He knew too much for one. Number two, he knew you can be white and be Muslim or Christian. He knew you can be black and be Muslim and Christian. He knew it was some truth to this book of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? So when you know that and understand that, they try to get rid of you. They try to get rid of you, for real. So I, I, I just said, I'm not going to be, I was a dummy for two years down there. I said, I'm not going to be no dummy no more. I was down there with uh, Corey Blunt. The all the rappers in Houston talk about. Quiet, humble. He was on K A. He was on KB. He was on KB. He stayed on KB downstairs. Short, quiet, humble, legend. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I got a chance to be around real. I ain't going to lie. I'm glad I did go to the federal penitentiary. I'm I, I'm glad I didn't go to the state penitentiary. I'm glad I did go to the federal penitentiary because it taught me how to be a man. It taught me how to understand things. It taught me how not to come back. It did. Because the odds was against me. I had a lot of COs. I ain't going to A lot of COs. I was I ain't gonna lie, I was so much of a good character though. A lot of CEOs looked at me, they'll write me up, they looked at me like a son. They'll throw it, they'll throw that bitch, they'll throw it in the toilet. In the trash can, for real. Call me in there and tell me, like, bro, we see you on the phone. Cause they can listen to your calls. Bro, they knew my granny all I had at that time. Like, they knew that. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, come on, that woman went in the driveways, you feel me? So they knew that. And then Bro, he funny as hell, bro. They like Nani funny as hell, bro. But I say that to say that CEO in Atlanta came out when he heard me speaking on it. He started raising his voice. 
and he called me to his office. And when I broke it down, how I broke it down now, he said, ah, I didn't even think that. You got to think that. You got, you go to the east side right now, you got white residents that got Black Lives Matter in front of their house and you got black lies that'll go kill their partner that they been friends with for 14 or 15 years and not care about nothing. So when y'all talk about race, I don't care because you got a white person that will fight for your life more than you would. So you got a white person that'll come inside the jail system Knowing she getting jacked off on, knowing she getting violated, and still to try to come look you straight in the eye and talk some sense into you. Try to help you. Try to see if you're going to change. So, yeah, I'm racist. I'm racist. Yeah. And I want to say to all these young niggas, them switches, all that ain't cool, but I want to say like this, man. Them prison stories, I don't say these prison stories for y'all to go there. Y'all want to make it cool to go there, but I want to make it to like it's another show. You know what I say? Oh, God, I love y'all. That's just what it is. Prison stories with TT90. Oh, God, yeah.